Hey guys, so if you're not involved with the Framer.js community or happen to have not seen recent posts in the Framer.js Facebook group, um, a guy named Devin Abbott was very kind to put together some really neat code to improve on drag layers so that we can get things like inertia scroll and scroll lock slash direction lock on scroll views that we make with uh, draggable properties. So. First off, thank you so much, Devin. We really appreciate it. Um, but something that I wanted to touch on and demonstrate here that I don't think he ever expected to give to us, or at least give to me anyway, is the idea that you know direction lock or scroll lock or inertia scroll can be features and not just givens or safeguards or whatever they might be. So in the case of direction lock, scroll lock, that's what uh, locks out the other axis that's not in use in the scroll view so that you can't do accidental touches on other items. So when you're in Safari, for example, if you're scrolling up and down, um, that locks out the X axis from left to right so that you can't do any kind of interaction, which is really nice uh, because sometimes there are certain elements or buttons or whatever inside the scroll view that have their own separate gesture recognizers on the other axis. So it's nice to have uh, it locked when you are in one so you don't do ac accidental stuff. But as I was thinking, you know, I think that direction lock and scroll lock, it serves its purpose, but I think that there's also a lot of potential for expanding on the interaction in the scroll view because although you're locking out one axis when you're in a scroll view, that doesn't mean that you can't accept any kind of interaction uh, in the quote locked access to do other things easier that you wouldn't be able to do um, while the scroll view on the locked access wasn't locked. So something that I have always wanted to improve on um, is the ability to access search within an application from really anywhere uh, you are in the app. Um, search is so powerful, yet it's so often hidden in a menu or at the top of the screen. And as devices get bigger and we pack them more with really neat functionality, something has to give. And often it's search. And I have always found that really frustrating because I would love to use search more. Um, but it's been really difficult. What do you do, like, other than putting a button on the screen or something like that, you know? Um, so I took this idea that direction lock and scroll lock can be a feature, it can be a feature, it's not just a safeguard. And the last day or so I've been playing around and I put together this demo app to show you a really neat thing I think we can all utilize direction lock for to add extra functionality to our applications or whatever they might be. So uh, in the app in front of you, I basically put together a really simple quotes app. Um, nothing more than that, but just so that I could use a scroll view. Um, so as you can see, I can scroll in the view just like normal, right? And then also I have the left and right axis. And um, although I have nothing in those axes, uh, or excuse me, in the X axis right now, like I can't swipe left to right on a cell, um, basically what I'm just showing you is that um, it, I, have, I have that axis, uh, you know, to, or, you know, in my, you know, in my ability to use the app. So if say I had something there like um, being able to swipe left to right to uh, like save the quote or forward the quote or something to that effect, I still have that ability. And then when I'm doing that, it locks out the vertical view and vice versa, right? Well, um, the real question is back to my original you know, thoughts is, well, how do I use direction lock uh, to enhance this particular demo app so that I can easily access search. So here's two things I came up with. Um, and these don't necessarily have to be replacements for where the search is, but they're really neat, quick ways to access search. So in my app, for example, I basically made it so that if you scroll down in the view and, and hold on the screen for one second, the search icon on the left side comes up. And if I tap it, then it'll open search. Or if I just click back on the scroll view again, then it will hide. So let me show that again. Now, if I tap the search, boom, there goes my search. So I can scroll down, hold for a second, and then it will show that option. And then I tap it and goes to search, right? So that's really neat. And I can definitely tweak a little bit on the how long I need to hold on the screen, whatever. But I think it's a neat thing because when people are scrolling, typically 
Um, you're not like leaving your finger on the screen for an extended period of time. And also, it's not just that you're leaving this finger on the screen, it's just that you're leaving it in the same spot. So the distance between your last touch and your current touch is, is very close. That's basically how I did that there. So I calculated, you know, like what was the last touch and where's the current touch. And if it's less than whatever I said, I think it was 10 or something, then uh, show that option, right? Well, that's neat and stuff, but how do I do it in just one gesture and this is where the direction lock scroll lock comes in so remember how I said that this app could potentially have uh, gesture interaction on the left and right axis which is the x-axis and the y-axis up and down right well if I say scroll in the view vertically then by the virtue of scroll lock I would have then locked the x-axis well I may have locked the x-axis for myself, but I can still use the x-axis for something else, like maybe opening search. So, as I said, as I showed you before, I could drag and leave my finger on the screen and then open search. Also, I could drag and go to the right side of the screen and release, and then I go to search. So let me show that again. So if I'm scrolling down and to the right, I can open search, let go, boom, I'm right to search. So this is kind of just a basic demo of what I'm you know, talking about, uh, what I'm working on. I guess the question for you guys is, is how might you use direction lock slash scroll lock as a feature, not just a safeguard?